I tell you that it's a possibility that you're the father. I tell you it's a possibility that you're the father. Could anyone else be the father? No. I done stood with you from the beginning to now. You always telling me that he my baby, but you always have him around to real. I'm just praying when you read my results that I am the father. The possibility is his, okay. the possibility is yours. Well, we're gonna find out today. <laughs> Lisa, you, you know that baby, not mine. Come on now. You know, you know my daughter is yours. Yeah. We met on MySpace. I, I just wanted something real quick, you know? She was easy. I'm not a slut. What is wrong with you? Me. You gotta take right. care of her. That's yeah. it. What if he's not the father? No, he is the father. Let's find out. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> when she tells you she's pregnant, how, how did you react to that? Who is the dad? Oh, you don't even know if it's your baby. I made a mistake. I did sleep with three other guys. I'm just so afraid you're gonna put me out again. DNA test. Alvin. Ashley has a three month old son and she called my show because she doesn't know who the father is. There are two men who she says could be the dad, John and Terrell. And both men want to be the father. Today they took a DNA test to find out the truth. Take a look. My son adds joy to my life. He's the reason that I get up in the morning to go out and make a hard earned dollar to take care of him because I want him to have the best life that he could have. I've been in his life ever since day one from the beginning of the pregnancy up to now. I support him financially, I buy his whites, formula, diapers, do what all I can for him. If he's not my son, that would destroy me. Because we have got this bond, and I'm just so close to him. Me and Ashley were together for two years, on and off. She found out that she was pregnant. She came to me and she was like, well, Terrell, this may be your baby or it may be John's. When she told me that John could also be the father, it hurt me because we was together during that time and I felt like we had something. I still love her, I still want to be with her. I would like for our son to have a mother and a father in his life. And I, I don't have any kids and I feel like this is my son. And just the thought of him going out of my life and I've been in his life this long, it's gonna hurt. Ashley, tell me what happened. Well, Steve, I have put myself in this crazy situation because fortunately I have two men that want to be in my baby's life, you know, and take care of him. You really care about both guys? Right, I really care about both guys. Were you in love with both guys? Yes, but I was more in love with John. John, and who was that in the tape? That's Terrell. Terrell. Um, why do you love John more? Because he's who I see as in me being in a relationship with. Long term. Yes, we've had our trust and issues. We, you know, we argue, but you know, that's, I just see myself being with him. Now, Terrell in the tape seems like a pretty nice guy, yes, right? Yes, he is a wonderful guy, and I love him. Is he a good dad? Yes, he's a great father. And, and both men know that the other guy could be the father? Right. And, uh, and John, the guy that you love a little more, what does he say about that? I mean, he feels hurt. The simple fact that, you know, we were together at the time, but, you know, we still had our issues. Did these but... guys know about each other while you were sleeping with both of them? Yes, they both was aware. They did, and none of them said, hey, I'm out of this, I don't want to be part of this? At times, but then, you know, it's like, you know, they're, we're right back together. Are you still sleeping with both of them? I slept with John the night before, and I slept with Terrell about a week ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Will the DNA affect the decision of who you want to be with? Like, say if it comes out Terrell's. Like he said, I want the mother and father and the child. You know, I, I, I want you that. You want a family unit. Right, I want that. Even and though it means cutting off the man that you truly love. Yes. 
Really? Yes. I think it's a mistake. I think you need to follow your heart when it comes to terms of love. If you settle for it, I don't think you'll ever be happy. And both these guys are totally in love with you, and they want to be with you, right? Right. In your heart, well, who do you believe is the father? I believe that John is more of the father. <laughs> it, I know I don't mean to offend you, but could anyone else be the father? No, not okay. at all. Just, <laughs> no, not me. <laughs> Because we just met, right? Yeah, we okay. did. We just um, met. Let's bring out John. After you always telling me that he my baby, but you always have him around for real. So what is, what, is, what are you doing though? You always telling his mind, but you always somebody got my birthmark and stuff, but you always have him around for real. Right, that's a fact. But the possibility is, from what I told you from the jump, the possibility is his, okay. the possibility is yours. Well, we're gonna find out today. If the baby's Terrell's, are you still gonna sleep with her? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just praying when you read my results that I am the father. I tell you that it's a possibility that you're the father. I tell you it's a possibility that you're the father. She's saying uh, she was with you last night, right? And then yeah. like a week ago, she was with Terrell. Yeah. Stuff happens. <laughs> do you love her? Yeah, I got love for her. I really do got do love, love for her. Do you love her? Yeah, I got love for her. Do you love her? <laughs> no, nah, I don't love her. I got love for her. You don't love her. her? Yeah, I got love you for her. You have love for her? Yeah. OK. If the baby's uh, this other guy, Terrell, are you still going to sleep with her? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you might be one of the most honest guys ever to be on my stage. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Let's bring out Terrell. Terrell. Ashley, you know, if Peter is not my son, that's going to hurt. But right. all this back and forth. It's but the whole stop. thing is, I never intended on hurting anyone. I didn't plan on to get pregnant. It just happened. <laughs> and the thing about it is, I love when you know, say it just I happened. tell you, <laughs> I tell happened. you that, you know, you, it's a possibility that you're the father. I tell you, it's a possibility that you're the father. True that, true okay. that. But my thing is this. I don't have love for you. I'm in love with you. Oh. And, and I love you, too. How you doing, Terrell? Hey, Miss Steve, how are you? Um, how about the fact, though, that she says, um, if, I, if I had to really pick the love of my life, it'd be John. When you hear that. When I heard that, that hurts me to my soul because the simple fact is, no matter what, through the ups and the downs, I've been there. I love you. And you want the baby to be yours? Yes, sir. If this come back and say this child is not mine, that's like taking half of my world away. Um, and I know you say you have feelings, but what you're doing, you know it's not right because somebody's really going to be hurt here. Um, there's a baby involved, and I can't imagine thinking that I was a dad to a child, really emotionally invested in a child, and then get my heart ripped out and, no, you're not the dad. That's, that's kind of like devastating stuff. Right. What have you done for the baby so far? I mean, this is you with the baby. Right. Is this in the uh, right after the baby's born? Right after the baby's born. So you're there. You're like, this is that great moment in life when you get a child. Right. I mean, I was there from the time I got the pregnancy test showing the two lines up until this point. Wow. And your baby's born and... And so now uh, the baby's four months old. You have, and she says, you have been there 
and you've been acting as as dad, right? Correct. And and helping her and with everything. With everything. I have the baby four to five times a week. And you're not so much. Uh, nah, you know, I don't get around like that. Um, would you be really devastated if this wasn't your child? Yeah, it would hurt me. It, it would hurt you. It really would hurt me. If it's not my child, it would hurt me. It would. What if she, you know, you find out it's one of your guys' uh, child, but she says, you know mm -hmm. what? I'm still, I'm going to sleep with both of you. No. If it's my child, the back and forth is going to end. Because we're going to be a mother and a father to our son. What do you say to that? I agree. That's all I want is a mother and a father. So you're really going to say if it's, if it's uh, Terrell's baby, you're going to stop seeing John? Yes. All right, John, you took a DNA test, and the result for you is... I'm just praying when you read my results that I am the father. I just wanted something real quick, you know? She was easy. I'm not a you slut. What is wrong with you? You're to take care of her. That's yeah. it. What if he's not the father? No, he is the father. Let's find out. I'm just praying when you read my results that I am the father. All right, John, you took a DNA test, and the result for you is you are not the father. Move forward from this. Yeah, now we can move forward. Right. Terrell, you know I'll let you step up and be the man, take care of him. Hey, well, I want you back to yourself. She is the father. Right. 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 I'm just praying when you read my results that I am the father. Right. <laughs> Terrell, you're not the father either. <laughs> One second. That one is second. a lie. There's no way. Oh, now, people you say know. that about a lie detector test all the time. Oh, that's a lie. This is scientific fact here. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay. Fine? Fine? <laughs> no, it's not fine, but I don't see how it came to this. No, I really don't. <laughs> um, you, you don't really need me to break it down, though, right? No. Okay. I, you know, I've seen but, it. Do, but don't they need an answer? An I answer? mean, you said that only these two, guys, these two guys who love you and want to be with you, uh, this guy who's thinking it's his baby, he's raising it, and you said, nope, it can only be these two guys. I just can't understand the fact you done brought us way up here and neither one of us the father. Then I done stood with you from the beginning to now. And to find out some stuff like this, Ashley, when I say I'm hurt, babe, I'm broken to pieces. But you know I'm You don't dumb. think I am? I'm dumb. Because it don't get no lower. Well, that's fine. It just seems like you're not serious with anybody, and you're kind of playing these guys. And it seems like you got really good guys that have feelings for you, and you're, you're going to waste this opportunity to be with somebody that would treat you really good. I'll say this. You have a baby to take care of. That should be your focus now. It is. I think now that you're a mom, the days of just having fun, and that, that has to be kind of over for you if you're going to be serious and have somebody in your life. 
Do you have anything at all you want to say? <clears throat> I'm sorry to the both of you for bringing you out here. I really thought my mind that one of y'all was his father. So, I don't know. It's already good enough. It's just he, good he seems really hurt. I mean, you're, you're hurt now. John, I think. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm hurt, but, you know, I kind of prepared myself for this. You know, I wouldn't just, I, I, I prepared myself for this. You know, I was praying for the bit, but. But he seems like you're pretty devastated by this. He's my world. How I'm gonna go forward? Knowing the only thing that I thought belonged to me, it's not mine. I know this is a hard question to answer right now, maybe. Uh, do you wanna be part of the baby's life still? I have been in his life so long. I mean, just being there. But to be a part, just to do things for Key, I don't have to be with you. Right. I don't have to be with you. But I love that child. But it's over. It's done. You, I feel, I truly feel sadness for because I know the joy of being a father. I know the joy of, you know, that first child coming into your life. That got taken away from you. You seem like a really good guy. I don't think this is an act. I think you're genuine from your heart. I think you're a very caring guy. I think, and I'm not trying to say what's gonna happen with her, but knowing that as good as a guy you are, I don't see a problem with you going home and finding a woman that will just be with you and give you a child that you want, yeah. all right? I, I mean, I wish you all the luck. And, uh, I wish, I wish everybody luck here. Again, you're adults now, and these easy breezy relationships not taking it seriously, this is what happens. Good luck to you. Good luck to you, honey. Wish you all the best. Good luck to you. I just wanted something real quick, you know? She was easy. I'm not a slut. What is wrong with you? You're gonna take care of her. That's yeah. it. What if he's not the father? No, he is the father. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> you are the cop. Get off my stage. I just wanted something real quick, you know? She was easy. I'm not a you slut. Me what is wrong with you? You're going to take care of her. That's yeah. it. What if he's not the father? No, he is the father. Lisa and Robert had a short affair three years ago, and a month later, she found out she was pregnant. She says the baby has to be Robert's, but he claims she was sleeping with a lot of different guys, and she's trying to ruin his life. We gave him a DNA test to find out for sure. So Robert, why are you here? Well, uh, three years ago, I had met uh, Lisa off of MySpace. You know, I was uh, in New York, and I wasn't familiar with the area. I'm from somewhere else and whatnot. So I was just looking for some company. Where are you from? Uh, Arizona. Oh, OK. So yeah. you came to New York. And yeah. Somebody yeah. from Arizona. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. So you came out here. You wanted to meet somebody. You didn't know anybody. Uh -huh. You find her. Yeah. And then, I mean, she was she was easy. Like, I mean, I just, <laughs> I just, yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, I just met her. OK, how you doing? OK, meet me over here. She was here. easy in the way of uh, pleasant, uh, easy going. Yeah, like e matter. easy as in to sleep with, too, you know. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was trying to throw you the lifeline. He oh, didn't nah. tell you. I mean, I'm just going to say, tell her how it is, okay. you know. And you say, where, meet up where? On Jamaica Avenue, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, like in a coffee shop, where? Oh, no, nah, just meet me in front of the Coliseum. You know, we'll, ch we'll talk, and then we go back to the house, and that's what we did. And then it was that it easy. It was that know? easy. That easy. You know, and uh, I mean, I just had my fling, have fun with her. I mean, I'm not attracted to her whatsoever. You know, I mean, I, I met up with her. You're not attracted to her whatsoever. Then why I sleep with her, right? Yeah, I know. But I mean, I, I, I mean, it was just. Why did you? Because, I mean, I already done wasted time to go up to Jamaica Avenue and I already done invested the money in the bus trip and, 
You know, I'm how like, much I'm is a bus trip? It was like two seventy five, something like that. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I mean, I already done put the effort forth. I mean, I made it this far. Might so as well go the rest of the way. So you spent two seventy five. You might as well go all the way. Yeah, you know, spend the other two seventy five to go back home too. You know, so. So how many times did you sleep with her? Um, well, it was through the course of two weeks. So, I mean, I'd guess and say probably like 10 times maybe because I was just seeing her, you know, oh, here so, and there. So, you weren't attracted to her. <laughs> no. You were in for the bus ride. Uh -huh. And you sleep with her. And then the next day you wake up and go, well, I got nothing better to do. Pretty much, yeah. Like, because, I mean, I was, I was in New York. I don't know anybody out Are there. Are you the shallowest man that's ever been on my stage? I, I wouldn't say so. I mean, I watched the show a few times. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got to give the woman something, not just, you know, no, I have I mean, nothing better like, to do. Not, and I mean, she burnt me, though, like, STD-wise, not like, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, that's how I know she dirty. I mean, there's no respect there, you know, so once I have to... So, she didn't burn you, but did it burn? No, yeah, it burned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it burned. I, I see why they call it that, you know? So, she gave you an STD. Yes. And what happened? Well, I went and got treated. Well, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> <laughs> Mass dirty obvious. What I mean, did you break up with her? Not, you stopped yeah. seeing her? Well, I noticed I had the STD after I done cut ties with her because I cut ties because I noticed that she was dealing with a lot of dudes. Like, I call her, I hear dudes in the background, and even when I'm with her, she'll leave and go step another room to take a phone call or something, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm not attracted to her whatsoever. I mean, y'all will see that when she come on stage, you know, so... <laughs> I mean, that's just my disclaimer now. Like, I, I just wanted something real quick, you know? How did you find out about her baby? Well, I was actually locked up, and my mother contacted no. me. No. Yeah, because uh, that's why I was in New York, because I was running from some legal issues, <laughs> oh. you know? But, um, but yeah, I was locked up. She contacted a family member of mine, and then they contacted me in, in, in prison, and they're like, Lisa. And how many years have been since this, you had been with her? Well, I say, like, at this time, it was, like, probably, like, two. It was years. like two years at that point, and then like I don't I don't even know who Lisa is. Like I didn't forgot all about her. Like like didn't know who she was or anything you like forgot that. Forgot about that tour. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. So I, I go back to my cell though. You know I, I lay in the bed, think about it. Like oh okay Lisa, you know what I mean. And then I call my I call my family member back and, and it's like okay I know who you're talking about. Yeah I mean it, it could be, but I highly doubt it because she was dealing sleeping with a lot of dudes and all that. You know. And what's your feelings about Lisa now? numb like nothing like I don't want nothing to do with her like at all because I mean ever since like just recently she started she's asking uh my like my friends for my address and all this other stuff and she's trying to go through courts to to get paternity tests and I could tell that she's only after money you know because I mean obviously she's not doing good in her in her marital situation money? no not at all but I mean I look like it don't I <laughs> you know but um I'm, I'm not giving her nothing. I mean, I'm not giving her no money or anything. I mean, if she's yours? Yeah, I mean, not, I mean, I'll take care of the baby if she's mine, but I'm, I'm, not sending, I'm not sending Lisa nothing. I'm not giving her nothing. You know what? If it is yours, maybe mm -hmm. she'll go to the courts, and a judge will decide what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's bring out Lisa. Wow, Lisa, what is you, you know that baby not mine. Come, come on, come on. Now. You know that you baby not mine, Lisa. You know my daughter is yours. Come on, you a you slut. You done been with so many girls. I did not give you an STD. Yes, you I'm did. not a you slut. Me that what is wrong with you? You know you a slut, Lisa. And you come do all of this. Come on, you That's not fair to me or my daughter. What if he's not the father? No, he is the father. Let's find out. Why are you taking so long? When she tells you she's pregnant, how, how did you react to that? Who is the dad? Oh, you don't even know if it's your baby. What if he's not the father? No, he is the father. Let's find out. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell me what happened. Well, first of all, we met on MySpace, and we went out a couple of times. We did not sleep together on 
No the first, first night. night. You no. a lot, man. You, you lying. Come on, on man. Keep night. it real, man. Uh, were you sleeping with anybody else? No, not at the time. Mm. So it just tell not him. Yes. Why was the big delay in telling him that he was the father? No, no. He said I didn't contact him until two years after, which is a lie. I contacted him within the same year, the end of the, the same, like three years ago, right. the end of the same year, and he said that he think he might be the father of and my daughter. And you told daughter. him you were pregnant. Yes, I right. did. If he is the father, um, you would want him to contribute to your daughter's yes. uh, mm -hmm. raising. Yes, it been, he it's been be the, three years. Almost. And he's never given you anything? Who fault is that? How you expect it's me to just jump up on, on a maybe up. baby that, that might, where you have several other prospects? Look, I mean, keep it real, man. She's she yours, whatever. How first, did he react when you told him he was the father? Like, like I said, he told me, he told me that he think he is the father, and Could then he gets be. on my, my, well, not my space, Facebook, and he put pictures of her asking people, do he think the baby is his? That's embarrassing me. Did you do that? Yeah, I did that. Yeah, I did that. Yeah. <laughs> Now he's going to look stupid when we find out the DNA stuff. Nah, you going to look stupid. Don't, don't drop on the floor crying, running off the stage, mm -hmm. none of that. Yep, you, it's not um, We'll see. Yeah. What if he's not the father? No, he is the father. <laughs> I already know that. You, don't, you have no doubt? No. <laughs> Let's find out. Why are you taking so long? <laughs> <laughs> it's about as long as your relationship with her. <laughs> Robert, you are the father of his yeah. You have a woman on stage that you share a baby with. No matter how you look at it, no matter how you want to spin this thing, you are on stage with a woman that you have a child with. Mm -hmm. She is the mother of your daughter. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I mean, there's probably something wrong with that test or something. Man, but you know I mean. there's nothing wrong with that test. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that test. I have a little problem. Just a little one. You're kind of clowning out here, and you're not showing the mother of your child a lot of respect from the moment you told that story. Um, I'm all for having a good time and taking care of one's needs, mm -hmm. but not at the disrespect of the other person. Mm -hmm. And that's what you kind of done ever since you tell the story. <laughs> all right, I'm sorry, Lisa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Whatever. And it makes all right. it all better. My bad. That makes it all better. Um, all I can say is this. For every that. young person out there watching the show, I would say all the time, be careful what you do. Be responsible for your actions. Because really, I don't know how much of a man or of a father figure he's going to turn into from this point on. I certainly mm -hmm. hope that he doesn't behave in this manner to your daughter. I hope you're a good dad to her. I hope you'll be a father figure. I hope you'll take care of her. Are you ready to meet your daughter for the first time? Yes. Is it okay? Yeah. Let's go. I made a mistake. I did sleep with three other guys. I'm just so afraid you're gonna put me out again. DNA test. Alvin. You are the father. You're off my stage. I made a mistake. I did sleep with three other guys. I'm just so afraid you're gonna put me out again. DNA test. Alvin. Monique called my show just days after giving birth. You see, she named her newborn son after her ex-boyfriend, Alvin, because she thought he was the father. But now, she's not so sure. 
So he took a DNA test to find out the truth. Take a look. I'm here because I need to find out if my ex-boyfriend is the father of my son. We were together about two years. We split up for a year. During that time, I was seeing three guys, including my ex-boyfriend, and I ended up getting pregnant. When I found out I was pregnant, I was shocked, scared. I was worried about Alvin's reaction to my pregnancy because I know during that period that we were split up, we were still seeing each other on occasion. I look at my son and I see so much resemblance, you know, with the nose, the eyes, with Alvin. I get scared because I know eventually my son's gonna wanna know who his father is. And if I don't have an answer, I feel like my son's gonna hate me. I'm just really hoping Alvin's the father. Cause I mean, he's done everything since my pregnancy. He supported me. He's bought the baby clothes, pampers, make sure you know, the baby has milk. He gets up in the middle of the night with the baby. He feeds him, he changes him, you know. When I'm sick or tired, he's there the whole time with the baby. If he's not the father, I mean, I know this would not only hurt me, this would hurt him. Him and my son has a bond, and I don't want to break that. Elvin, that's your ex-girlfriend on the tape. Yes. So she has a, a baby, and she says you're the father? Yeah. And what was your reaction? She, oh, wow. Um, I knew she was involved with another guy. You know what I'm saying? So at that time, it was like, you know, we, we got together. You know, she came over. <laughs> we got the calendar, and we tried to figure out, you know, the last time, this and that, and everything like that. And to me, at that time, it didn't add up. Did you have feelings for her? Oh, yes. You were... Yeah, I mean, I mean, it was did like... Did you love her? Yeah, I still love her. Oh, you still love her? Yeah, I still love okay. her. Okay. Why did you guys break up? It was a stupid argument, man, you know? I had a toothache, which I had a <laughs> headache, and I had two other kids, you know, and I was at the dentist's office, and she was asking where I was. Um, she kept calling, and I told her to pick the kids up from school and stuff like that, and, you know, she kept calling, and so I cut my phone off. You know what I'm saying? When I cut my phone back on, it was so many missed calls from her. You know what I'm saying? So I have a headache. I, I mean, I had stopped by a friend's house. You know what I'm saying? And Female? Yeah, it was a female. It was both of our friends. You know what I'm saying? It was both of our friends. Just a lucky guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much so. Um, so I, I made it to the house and everything. But when I made it to the house, I, I was still, I want to say ill. My tooth was hurting. Right. I had a headache. And I really didn't want to hear it. So, you know, um, I got upset with her. You know what I'm saying? So instead of talking to her, talking it out, I just got her things, packed it up, put all her clothes at the door, called her a taxi, <laughs> you know. You know, taxi came, she was like, what are you doing? I was, was like, she surprised? <laughs> what? Yeah. And she was like, um, she was like, what is going on? I was like, look, I don't have to put up with this. I gave a taxi, $50, take it to her mother. So I went back in the house. You know, the taxi didn't pull off it at first. You know what I'm saying? And I threw some water on my face. And I thought about it, I got my stuff together, and I went back to the taxi before they pulled off. You wanted her back in the house? Yeah, come on back. And, you know, let me get your things. She was like, no. I went back in the house and let her drive off. You know what I'm saying? It was basically, you know, I kept asking her to come home. You know, come on home. She was like, no. You know, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, and everything like that. So it, it was like, you know what I'm saying? I was still giving her Did you her regret time. it? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, I was regretted the day she pulled off in that taxi, right. man. You know what I'm saying? When she tells you she's pregnant, how, how did you react to that? Who is the dad? Oh. Yeah, who was the dad? And what did she say? There's a possibility it could be yours. So now she goes through the pregnancy. Were, were you there for her during her pregnancy? Yeah, I was there for her pregnancy. You were, you were around? I still told her to come home. Regardless, I mean, dude, I don't know. You don't even know if it's your baby. Don't and you're know. like, you want I, her to come home. I didn't know, didn't know if it was my father, I mean, my kid or not. You know what I'm saying? But I told her to come home. And now that the baby's here, what's life been like? What is it, a little baby boy or girl? A little baby boy. Little baby boy? Yeah, it's my little dude. Yeah, this is your little dude, right? It's my little dude. Okay. Uh, you love him? I do love him. I do. You know? I don't know. It's just, you know, I was raised by my stepfather. 
You know, my dad was military, always gone. You know, but other than that, you know, I always made up in my mind, you know, I got kids, I'm gonna take care of my kids. And if a dude can stand up to be a father, you know, I don't know what it is, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, and, and like, I, like I tell her, like I tell her, you know what I'm saying, there's a difference between a, a daddy and a father. And that's what I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a father regardless. Um, all right, let's bring out Monique. I know we separated on bad terms, but I'm ready to put that all behind. You know, you ye me yelling at you, you packing my stuff, putting me in a taxi, making me leave. That made me feel like I was worthless. Like I was dirt. I'm ready to put that all behind just to be with you. Sometimes he tells people, you know, this is my son and then other people, we go out, we do family stuff together. Like, they'll be like, is that your son? No, it's not. All I can do is look why, down. And why, why does he have doubts whether it's his son or not? I made a mistake during the time we were separated. I did sleep with three other guys. When he talks about your son, which I think from expressing himself, he really loves your son. Um, the way he talks about children. I mean, you don't have a lot of men on my stage talking about children the way Elvin does. He's hoping that it's his son. In your heart, do you believe Alvin's the biological father? In my heart, I do believe and Alvin's you, the biological father. And you want, him to, you want him to be the father? Yes, I want him to be the father. Okay. He's, he's been there throughout the whole pregnancy. He's been my support team, everything. And if he's not the biological father, does that change your feelings for Alvin and wanting to be with Alvin? It doesn't change my feelings for him, but it will devastate me. All right. Uh, DNA test. Alvin, you're not the father. It's still not going to change. <laughs> Is it? Listen, when I brought you that ring, when I brought you this ring, right? I bought this before we separated. I gave it to you because I said I bought this for you. All right? You're still here, he's here. You know what I mean, that really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? I'm just so afraid you're going to put me out again. No, it's not going to happen. It's not gonna happen. I mean, couples do argue and sometimes they separate and they break up. I mean, that does happen, but a lot of people don't get back together. You guys are back together. And the way Elvin spoke about your son, even though this isn't the news you wanted, I don't think his feelings are gonna change one bit for your son. That's my little dude, man. Ain't going all that. And I think you know that better than me yeah, telling you that. Know. I don't get a lot of couples here that show as much emotion for each other as you two do, and genuine. And so I think this is something you certainly can move past. As long as he's good to your son and, and acts like dad, does it really matter? You, you could be with a guy that you have kids with and he's, he's a terrible father, terrible husband, going out drinking, doing all this stuff, not coming home. He's not doing that, right? Good guy? So I know, I know this hurts, but you got your answer. He still loves you. He's still standing by you. I think you got a good thing going. Good luck to you. No doubt. If there's anything we can do for you, let me know. Yeah. Good luck to you. 